Aries, welcome to your monthly readings. Beautiful souls, thank you so, so much for joining me today. And I usually post my um, All Zodiac Sign readings in one long, long video, along with a moon energy update for the month. But uh, I've heard back from quite a few people that they can't always find the readings or they didn't think I was doing these monthly Zodiac readings. So I'm going to post them separately and see if that's helpful for people to find them. So beautiful souls, this reading for Aries is for anyone with Aries as a sun sign or Aries as a moon sign. Or if you know your rising sign or your ascendant, you might want to check out this reading as well. Uh, if you've got any number of planets in Aries, this may be appropriate for you and of course some of you may just be cross-watching for friends family partners potential partners to kind of see what's happening now we're going to do an Archangel Michael reading with tarot cards as well but that's very much what came through in my preparations so let's draw some Archangel Michael cards and ask for Aries for the coming month of October I'm seeing this Let's also draw from a second Archangel Michael pack as well. Ooh, okay. That's your first card that's literally flipped over. It's time to play, Aries. <laughs> that looks cool. Okay, and we will draw some tarot cards too. What are we shown for Aries for the coming month, please? What are we shown for Aries for the coming month? I'm seeing these, these that one there and that one there okay so your first card it's time to play and this is coming up in no uncertain terms it says you're working too hard and worrying about everything seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life let me just make sure that camera is focused on the cards properly for you hopefully that's going to focus well let's see what else we have Shield yourself. That's interesting. This is talking about your energy being very, very sensitive or you being very sensitive to the energy around you. Sense of humour. You're on the right path and decide to be happy now. We then have deeper insights are at hand. Let it go. OK, this is really interesting. Change is coming. Take control of your thoughts. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. This is really interesting. I'm going to leave your tarot cards to one side just for a moment, my lovely Aries. First and foremost, your very first message is actually that I, I think you really are in a bit of a well, you're just working too hard or and, and also taking life very seriously. Now there's nothing wrong with that, Aries. But I think life can get out of balance. Now, we've got this let it go card sitting underneath sense of humour. OK, you're very, very sensitive. Deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forwards. OK, what I'm really hearing in your reading, lovely Aries, is that on the one hand, you're very focused, and this is very much in tune with the energy of the month. If, you ha um, if you're interested in the energy update, do check out my Moon Month energy update. It's quite a productive month, October, to be quite honest. The energy flow is really, really focused and very positive. But it does mean that you could end up being so focused that you lose sight of it. it, it this has got that flavour of... of um, really calling you to work to live rather than live to work. Now, there's nothing wrong with being focused, but if you become kind of run down because your focus is all work and no play, it also means when things happen um, around you, because you're very sensitive, very sensitive to energy, that somehow if you're at a slightly low ebb or your energy isn't balanced, that stuff could, incoming stuff could affect you, you know, perhaps more than it needs to, or, or you could be looking through a particular lens. I'll get some more cards. We'll look at your, card, your tarot in a moment. 
Now, let it go sitting with sense of humour is suggesting that there will be some things going on in your world, incoming stuff, external circumstances that affect you and affect your energy. That kind of it, what would be most helpful is if you're kind of sitting in a zone where it feels like it's water off a duck's back rather than being massively affected by it. It's easier not to be affected by stuff if you're in a good place, you know, when you're feeling really buoyant and life is feeling really balanced and you're feeling really replenished. If someone says something or you pick up on something, do you know, it really doesn't matter if you're in a really good place. But if you're not in a really good place, it can affect you quite significantly. <clears throat> now, overall, you're on the right path. Overall, whatever you are doing, whatever you're working on, it's significant and it's very, very exciting. It's leading to exciting things, changes coming. I'm here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. So lovely Aries, you are moving in exactly the right direction. You're on track. What is really interesting is that there is still almost like a susceptibility to stuff coming in and it's not exactly knocking you off, off track because I don't see you being knocked off track. If anything, your reading is saying, look, step away sometimes from your pathway. Make sure you chill out. You're definitely on target in your working life. Now, in the extended readings, I'm going to check out. I'll check out. We'll be drawing almost like little mini readings. We'll be asking about your working life, you know, the practical stuff of your world. We'll be asking about relationships that could be love, but also all relationships. And we'll be doing, you know, advice, additional advice and guidance for the month. But what I'm seeing here is an absolute confirmation of you being on track, but a need to be balanced and still almost like, like there's the residue of past experiences. You know, when something pops into your head and you almost think like, where did that come from? Well, you know, if you are a little bit run down because you're working too hard, you know, if someone says something, you could take it a bit more seriously or it could press a button or it could remind you of something. You're being asked to really take charge of your thoughts here. Not let your mind drift into any kind of negativity or any negative thinking patterns. I'm actually also going to draw some runes for you before we look at your tarot cards. Can we have advice and guidance for Aries, please? You have got Lagos, the rune of flow. You've also got Isa, the rune of standstill. This is also stillness. You've got Sewellu, the pathway you must follow. You've got Othilla, separation. Oh, and you've got breakthrough, Degas. Okay, fabulous. Right. These are completely mirroring your energy for the month. So what I'm seeing here is, and, and this is aligning with the incoming, the overall incoming energy of the month. I think you are going to have a really productive month. You're on track. You're on the right path. And, and it, to some extent, I honestly think things are going to flow for you, Aries. I really do. The challenge for you in the month will be making sure that you do take some sort of stillness breaks. You step away from things and you make sure that you are in balance. You're on track. You're following the right path. Absolutely 100%. But this is very much saying, you know, live to work rather than work to live. Is that the right? Yeah, or however that works. No, work to live rather than, you know what I mean. Working to live rather than living to work. Keeping that in balance. There is something else going on here where stuff happens that the purpose of it arriving is like when something pops into your head or something comes along and it feels like it's a residue of the past. The purpose of this actually is for you to let it go. Now, next year is very interesting, 2025. I'll be doing some readings around 2025 for you. 
And um, I have been absorbed in 2025 because I've been really going through with a fine tooth comb and um, the, the intricate details of the energy for the entire year, because that's kind of how my Astro Moon Diary works, the manifest with the Moon Diary. It's the first year, interestingly enough, I was having this conversation with some friends the other day. It's the first year where I've actually thought this diary is going to be not just valuable and, and great fun to manifest with the moon, but, but maybe for some people needed because there's some really intense pockets of energy next year. I think that in many ways, what you're doing right now, my lovely Aries, the personal reference to you is that whatever is showing up in your life that no longer serves you, there's an opportunity to put it down now. So it means when we enter 2025 and we navigate those pockets of energy, you don't really have stuff holding you back. You've already dealt with it. You've already put it down. You've let go of anything that is no longer relevant to you. And we have break the breakthrough room. I think the breakthrough room is on several counts for you, my lovely Aries. I think it's learning to laugh about stuff, letting it go, not being affected by it. Keeping your focus and achieving what you aim to achieve, but whilst also making sure that your world is in balance. It's like three areas here. Let's look at your tarot cards. You have the fall, so you've got a new beginning. You've also got the devil. Well, these are big cards, Aries. You've got the queen of pentacles. You've got the tower. Woo! Would you believe this? You have the king of cups. You have the ten of cups. Oh, my. You have the four of cups and you have the sun. This is huge, Aries. Aries, this is just huge. Look at the cards you have. The major, major arcana cards. Every one of these cards is a biggie, really. Okay, this is a turning point for you. This is an absolute turning point for you. I'm very, very excited to see, to do your extended readings. Um, but what, let's look at this right now for you. This is an absolute turning point. It's a point where you can put stuff down once and for all with Othila. Stuff that has been lingering or bothering you, literally, it's like you learn to take control of your mind, take control of your emotions, and you just don't allow things to hold you back anymore with the devil. And it means that there's room for you to manifest what you desire. And you are working at manifesting some really significant things. And I think this is an absolute turning point with the tower sitting above the sun. I think if you can master this sort of the balance of your life and an attitude of balance as well, I think, Aries, you are really, really going to see some results this month. I think you're going to see the results of, yeah, literally, of keeping your energy, having your energy right, having your energy balanced. And you are on track, you're working on something. I think more than one area of your life with the Four of Cups here may start to literally fill up. I'm seeing your cup overfloweth, literally. We've got the Ten of Cups. I mean, this is a card of happiness. I'm dead excited for you, Aries. So beautiful souls, there's a lot going on for you. Or, you know, there's lots of, you know, we've got Neptune shifting into Aries. We've got big astrological stuff happening. And of course, this moon month is your, I think we have your full moon, don't we, in Aries. So during October. And it's a very powerfully positive full moon as well in your sign. Illuminating the way. Aries, I think you're going to have potentially a very productive month. The key to the sort of guidance that's coming through is about recognising that if anything surfaces that's no longer relevant, that you let it go. It's literally learning to be like water off a duck's back, not letting stuff affect you anymore. And this has a bearing on next year. Keeping your life in balance will enable you to remain on track better because it will keep your energy buoyant and lifted. And I think several things may begin to actually appear. They begin. They may begin to really start to take form and shape in terms of your manifestations. Big stuff happening with the tower. Really big stuff going on. 
And the key here is, is really holding that state, you're holding your focus, being able to still maintain your sensitivity so you're in relationship with life, but also not be affected kind of by other people's stuff or stuff that's no longer relevant to you. Mm, very, very interesting. What else do we see here before I move on to the extended? Yeah, there's like different layers going through your, your month, my beautiful Aries. Deeper insights are at hand. Mm. I think there may also be some kind of revealing of things to you along the way. And actually, if you are shown something and it's a little bit uncomfortable, remember you're very sensitive, but if you're shown something, the purpose of it is so that you can make clear choices from a position of conscious awareness. I'm definitely seeing you letting go of some things. I'm also seeing you embrace new beginnings, to stay on track, to keep going, to have more energy to apply to the direction you want to be going in. And some significant breakthrough moments. Now, those breakthrough moments for some of you will be about learning to have that kind of water off a duck's back attitude. And because you're not affected by those things in the same way, your energy is, is sort of, you're free to use your energy as you wish. For some of you, if you've gen genuinely been just working too hard, this is about bringing you back into balance. And maybe some revelations will come to you that will almost cause you to have to stop, to have to, you know, take stock. But I, I am seeing happiness, productivity, creativity, lots of joyous stuff coming that helps you it kind of helps you to not just be on track but to build it's almost like this is a found this month is a foundation of the new this is a foundation month where whatever you build and put into place we are in eclipse season so whatever you are investing in at the moment it's going to be a foundation stone in what you are building and manifesting and what you take forward into 2026, sorry, 2025, my apologies, but actually and into 2026 too. I mean, it's it's kind of both because the flow of energy, you know, is moving through. We've got a big year in 2025 and the astrological collaborations follow through into 26. It's, it's a very powerful time. So Aries, this is a magical month for you. It really, really is. It It's not completely plain sailing but I think that you it, this is all about how you handle it rather than what happens and I think it's a month where you have the ability to handle it completely differently to the way you might have once done so not to be affected by certain things to keep yourself on track and indeed part of being on track isn't just ongoing focus productivity it's time to play as well I'm seeing a lot of really good stuff emerging. It's almost as though you make the space energetically to receive it. This is a, a powerful turning point for you. Aries, I'm going to move on to the extendeds um, because I kind of would like to get more detail and that the extended readings are something that I do um, on Patreon and in the YouTube membership area as a way of saying thank you to, to those, um, you know, lovely folk who choose to contribute. Um, um, the contributions are actually maintaining my ongoing um, free library, the A to Z of Emotional Health Library, and my way of giving back is to do the extendeds. Um, and I think what we'll do is just look in more detail at how this overall energy of both transformation, maybe letting go of some things, embracing the new, it's a real pivotal turning point, how that is affecting the different areas of your life. We do readings for the practical side of your life, um, you know, money, career, finances. And then we'll also do readings for relationships, for love and see how this transformational energy, very much with you in charge here. You know, what is coming to you? Deeper insights, very much, you know, what is what is happening here? How are you using this transformational energy? We'll, we'll, we'll look at this in more depth in the extendeds. But Aries, this is looking to me 
to be a fab month for you in a really interesting way. Very much setting the pace for next year, actually. So letting go, embracing the new, on track but in a focused way that also acknowledges balance. Wow. Well, I, I think this is cool. I think this is a really cool month for you. I really, really do. So Aries, um, keep me posted. Um, let me know if it's helpful that these readings are being posted as individual readings. Are they easier for you to find? Keep me posted. Let me know. And um, Aries, tons and tons of love. And I look forward to seeing you either in the extenders. You're welcome to join me. Or if not, um, I look forward to seeing you here on the main YouTube channel for other readings. And do watch out for that Moon Month Energy Update. Um, it's a really useful tool just to check out, um, you know, the incoming lunar energy, you know, when to push forwards, when to take time out. You know, I always give really key dates. So um, it's a useful thing to touch base with. Beautiful songs, tons of love.